Welcome back. In this video, the objectives are to introduce polynomial functions, review quadratic transformations, and then introduce vertex form of a quadratic. So our first objective here, polynomial functions are functions with multiple terms which are classified by degree. So remember terms are things that are added and subtracted. And recall that a degree of a polynomial is the degree of the highest term of the polynomial. So a constant has degree 0, where a linear term or has degree 1, right? y equals mx plus b, the coefficient or the exponent on our x is 1. A quadratic is degree 2, a cubic is degree 3, and so forth. So, you know, we're talking x, x squared, and x cubed. A quadratic function is generally written in what we call standard form, or what we've called in the past standard form, using the format ax squared plus bx plus c. The book uses a little different vocabulary for that particular one. So, let's take a look at transformations. Recall the sketch a graph of each function and compare it to f of x equals x squared. So I've put x squared into each of these two graphs and we're going to do the transformation. So g of x here, g of x equals x squared minus 4. Uh, the 4 isn't attached in the quantity of x squared, so this is a vertical shift up or down, so we are going to shift down 4 units. So that's how we've changed Joe Parabola or f of x equals x squared, so we're just going to shift down four units and we're going to have the exact same shape as we had before. And there is the graph of our parabola. In B, we've got a lot of stuff going on here, okay? So our a value, we're going to find out that's our a value is negative, so that means our parabola, instead of opening up, is going to open down. It's a reflection. Okay? We have x minus a positive 3 squared, so we're going to shift 3 units to the right. And then plus 1, that's going to be a 1 unit shift upwards. Okay, so I'm going to shift three units to the right, I'm going to go up one, and my parabola then is going to open down, and my parabola is going to look something like that. So I've done my transformation. So there's a review of transformations with a reflection and uh, horizontal and vertical shift. Objective three is to introduce vertex form of a parabola. The, the book calls it standard form, but we're not going to do that. Okay, Where f of x equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. So we will call this vertex form because this format gives us our vertex of our parabola right away. Our vertex is located at hk. In fact, this was may recognize this from our transformations of y equals x squared, where we sh had a vertical shift and a horizontal shift, the vertical shift being the k and the horizontal shift being the h. And then even the reflection would be a. So we've seen this before. Now I've also called this complete the square form. And the reason I call it complete the square form is because the x minus h quantity squared is really a perfect square trinomial and when we complete the square we always have a PST or a perfect square trinomial. Let's take a look at a sample problem that involves this vertex form, the kind of thing you'll be asked to do. Okay, So they give us an equation in, in what I'd like to call standard form and they'll say rewrite into vertex form identify the vertex and sketch the graph of it. Okay, So we want to get this into x minus h 
quantity squared plus k. Well, in order to do that, we're going to have to complete the square. We need a perfect square trinomial here. So let's go ahead and complete the square. The first thing we're going to do is factor out the 2 out of the first two terms. So we're going to get 2 times x squared plus 4. And since we're completing the square, I'm going to leave a blank here, plus blank. And then we're going to add our 7. So actually, I have two blanks here. And you'll see why I did that in a minute. So in order to complete the square, that blank spot, we have to do take 1 half of the b term. 1 half of b, oh, I didn't put the, the x in 4x. So 1 half of 4, and then we square it. So that really becomes 2 squared. So our perfect square trinomial is sitting here at x squared plus 4x plus essentially 4, or 2 squared. But we have just manufactured this 2 squared. Right? We've manufactured 4, and it's being multiplied by 2. So we've created 4 in this, so we have to offset that. In fact, we've created 4, but we've created 2 times 4, which is 8. So we need to subtract 8 as well. So these offset each other. Well, the x squared plus 4x plus 2 squared is our perfect square trinomial. So we have 2 times x plus 2 quantity squared minus 1. M minus 8 plus 7 is our minus 1. So now we have our h and k. That's our vertex, so our vertex form here. Our h is negative 2. Our k is negative 1. And that is the vertex of our parabola. So, And then they ask us to sketch the graph just going to take x plus 2 squared, put our vertex at negative 2, negative 1. So our vertex is here. And then it's a parabola. Now this one's actually going to be, we've got our a value is 2, so this is going to be a little bit narrower than our standard parabola. So for 1, we're going to go up twice as high. And our parabola is going to be a little bit more narrow and look something like that. So going back, our previous sample problem was already, B was already in vertex form. So our vertex here, we can see now, was at 3, 1, and sure enough, there it was. So you've been introduced to vertex form. We've sketched a graph of a parabola. And we'll get some more practice on this when I see you in class.